is up guys? Max here with another guitar lesson and this time around we're going to take a look at Years and Years brand new song, Meteorite. And what a great song that is. I have such a good feeling about this one. I bet you guys it's going to blow through the roof. And it's not too hard as well because we've got some standard chords and one unusual one. And we've got three riffs. We've got the intro, which is also the first, which is a simple version of the chorus. And we've got the pre-chorus, which is basically the bridge as well. So we don't have too many parts and they're not too hard, so let's jump right into it. So first of all, let's start with the intro, which is also the first. Well, it's the easy version of the first because we might as well play the chorus riff in the first because the only thing that changes here is the rhythm. And we can just as well use the rhythm of the chorus in the first to spice it up a bit. But first of all, let's take a look at the intro. Strum down once on each chord, super easy. We just go. That is it. We start with an A minor. We put our first finger onto the first on the second string, second finger onto the second on the fourth string, and third finger onto the second on the third string. And as you can see, I am using my thumb to mute the sixth string. We strum down once. Now we switch on to an F. We put our first finger onto the first over both second and first string. We put our second finger onto the second on the third string and our third finger onto the third on the fourth string. And this time around, we once again have to mute the sixth string, but now we have to mute the fifth string as well. So we put our thumb over both of those. Sounding like this. So we've got A minor, F. Now we jump onto a G. We put our first finger onto the second on the fifth string, second finger onto the third on the sixth string, third finger onto the third on the first string. So we've got A minor, F, G. That is basically the root of our riff because now we've got two different chords that follow those three. The first one is the F sharp diminished. We put our first finger onto the first on the second string, second finger onto the second on the third string, and third finger onto the second on the first string. So it's basically an upside down D. But many people would use the D right now, but I don't think that it's the right chord because it's like a bit more diminished. So that's why we're using the F sharp diminished because we've got the D, the regular version, and as you can hear, it's a bit more off. And listening to the song carefully, I think that's the one they use. So that's the one we're gonna use. So we go A minor, F, G, F sharp diminished. Then we go A minor, F, G, and now E minor. We put our second finger onto the second on the fifth string and our third finger onto the second on the fourth string. We don't have to mute any strings. And that is the entire riff. So now let's jump right into the pre-chorus because we are going to take a look at the chorus after that because well pre-chorus part before the chorus and then I will show you the rhythm we use for the chorus because you can use that as well in the first just as I told you but first of all let's take a look at that pre-chorus because it's super super easy as well and it's what we play in the bridge. That is already it. We start with the A minor. Now we meet a new chord, the C, and this switch is the easiest one. We just leave our first finger and our second finger where they are and move our third finger from here onto here. So just this little switch onto the third on the fifth string. 
that's the C. So A minor, C. Now we go back onto the F and onto our F sharp diminished. A minor, now G and F sharp diminished. Just like that. And now we get to the chorus. The chorus is already our last riff of the song and as I'm telling you guys all the time, first as well. So what we do here, or the only thing that's new here is the rhythm. That's the only thing that I have to show you guys because you know the chords, you know the order, you know the switches, but you don't know how to play the rhythm. And we go up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. That is already it. Up, down, up, down. Down, up, up, down. We do that on every chord once and that's the entire thing. As you can see, I'm muting every chord after doing the rhythm once. So we go, and then I mute the strings with my right hand. Just put it on the strings while you switch. And now we switch. And now we switch. And now we switch. And that is the entire thing. You can play that during the first. I'm saying this for the millionth time, guys. I guess that you know what to do by now. And I hope that you enjoyed this video because we are at the end here. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button as well because I am releasing several videos a week on the latest songs releasing, so don't miss out on anything and become a part of the awesome community that we have here. And all of my socials are in the description, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. And if you are into video games, be sure to check out my Twitch channel because I am streaming them. And if you want a sweet discount on those video games, then be sure to check out GTA.com, link is down there as well. They get you some sweet discounts on all of the games for all of the consoles. And as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.